All right, hey guys, it's Harrison here, and today we are going to be talking about how to survive swimming as a pre-op trans man. So the weather's getting warm, summer's here. Every trans man's favorite thing is swimming and how to deal with this. I'm gonna give you some of my tips and some of my things on how I feel comfortable and how I just kind of roll with it and accept it for what it is. I'm bigger chested, so I don't have the option of like maybe taking my top off and having just really nothing there and seeing how much I can get away with it because I know that there's some trans guys that have really small chests and they can just go topless and it's not really anything and it's no big deal. You could only really tell if you look really closely but I don't have that luxury so I just have to do what I can. So you really have three options as a big big chested trans man. You go with a sports bra that I call a pec holder. You go with uh, a binder which I, I can't talk about because I don't, I've don't i never worn a binder in my life, but I'm sure that people do that. And you go with shirts, and tight shirts or loose shirts or whatever. So when I'm walking around, I'll have like a nice loose fitting tank top like this. This is one of my favorites. I think it's great because it doesn't really, it shows like a little bit, but I, I don't really care. See, the thing that uh, really gets me through it is that I don't care if my sports bra or my pet holder slips or anything like that. Like, I don't care if anybody can see it because I'm not stealth. Like, this is what it is. So I had probably a D chest. I used to wear a small Nike sports bra, but I sw recently switched to an extra small. So I did that a few months ago. And at first it was like a little tight and it was a little uncomfortable, but then I kind of got used to it and I felt a lot better about it. it I think it really flattens it uh, even more than a small would, but there's still something there and it's no big deal, but yeah, so I would suggest like going a, a size smaller uh, than what you normally would wear. You can wear loose fitting ones or you can get one that really hides everything. So this is an H&M tank top and you really can't see a thing. So if you are more uncomfortable with it or you don't want anybody to see anything, then I would suggest something like this. So I think a darker color works better because if it gets wet, you can't really see anything underneath. I think if you went with like a white one, uh, you would see like a, if you wore, obviously I wear a gray uh, sports bra, so I, you would see it through a white thing. So I think the darker the better. And then the third option is to just go topless and just go in a sports bra or a binder or anything like that. So that's how I typically go swimming. I don't like to wear a tank top. I don't like to wear any shirt while I'm swimming. I just feel like once I get out or once I'm in there, I feel like it's kind of drowning me a little bit. And once I'm walking around, there's nothing worse than like a sopping wet shirt. And I feel like when it sticks to you, it just shows everything even more. But all it really is is comfort. So whatever you're comfortable with, go for it. If you don't want to swim at all, you don't need to swim. If you want to swim with a sweater on, swim with a sweater on. If you want to swim topless, go ahead. I think the only thing that really helped me survive swimming in the summer was really letting go of thinking what people will think when I have my shirt off because it's such a, you're, you're getting very vulnerable. You're outing yourself practically by taking your shirt off. See, I'm not stealth. Everybody knows that I'm trans, so I have really nothing to hide. Not that being stealth is, is bad at all. If you want to stay hidden and keep that private, then that's great too. Yeah, so anyways, just stay safe, guys, and have fun with it, and stay confident, and, and do whatever you want to do to swim and to feel comfortable in life, summer, anything. So that's really all the advice that I can give, and I hope that you guys like this video. Um, if you want me to do more stuff like this, feel free to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think. I've mentioned this on my various social medias that I'm committing to do a weekly video. So I've said this before, but this time I'm really going to stick to it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to really put some effort into it and I hope to make some really great content for you guys so we can learn and grow together. Thanks for watching and take care.